All right, so hello guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you a cool little trick that I recently learned over the power of the internet. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to beat Legend of Zelda Link to the Past super fucking quick. Uh, we're just gonna call myself D, cause why not? D. Uh, it's, this is gonna be a glitch speed run. I'm not trying to set any world records or anything. I'm just trying to show you guys how to beat the game really fucking quick. Um, it's a cool little glitch that I learned used thanks to the power of the internet. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a glitch to skip this fucking talking thing. So yeah, I also had a lot of trouble trying to set this up and get this to record. But now it's recording, so yay! Uh, it also dropped frames really fucking hard. But I don't get the feeling that's gonna happen a lot. Okay, can I play? I can play. Okay, we're gonna go here. This has nothing to do with anything, but let's grab it. Let's get the lamp. Like I said, I'm not trying to beat any world records. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, I think you wanna go up. So you're gonna go this way, and you go up. Basically, you're gonna go to the castle. And I'm pretty sure that is this way. Yeah, and then you just go up this bridge. And you're gonna go to the right of the castle over this way. Um, quick little tip. I'm pretty sure it's A, the A button. You walk up, no, B button. Walk up to a bush, press the B button, and it'll pick up the bush. That's how you would get in here. Fall down that hole. And you're gonna want to walk over to this guy who I guess is your dad, blah, blah, blah. He will give you the sword. My game will lag hardcore. He give you the sword. You press A to swing it for whatever reason. And yeah. So now you're going to come back out here. You're going to cut that bush. Go this way. Go down. Go into the middle. And you're going to want to avoid everybody. Avoid everyone like they are the plague. You're going to want to go up these stairs to the left. Alright, now here's where the glitch part comes. You're going to want to come to this. And when you're in midair, you're going to want to hit select. So jump down, press select midair, go save and, con save and quit. The game will load back up. It'll bring you to your saves. Select your save. And you'll start down here where your dad died. You're gonna wanna go back up to the castle, making sure this is this part's super important. Make sure not to get hit. You get hit, you fuck everything up. And you have to restart the glitch. I don't know if you can restart from your save. If I get hit, I guess we're gonna find out if you can restart from your save. I've never been hit doing this. It's super easy just to run up and not be hit. Thanks to the power of diagonal running due to my Xbox controller. You know, I'm gonna go up here. You're gonna go in this door to the left. You're gonna wait for that guy. You're gonna walk up and you're just gonna swing and hit him. Lure him up here, cause why not? Get him to hit you. Walk into the wall. Crazy fucking speed running tricks, eh? When it's, once it switches over, you're gonna wanna go up those two panels. You go over to the right this time and then you continue just going up. And that's it. So now this comes the part where I obviously sit here and I talk to you guys about life and stuff. And all that fun things as we just watch screens roll by. And um, actually this next part of the glitch speedrun is super fucking hard to do. And I'm not 100% sure that I can manage doing it. It's actually a really difficult glitch to pull off. And uh, it requires you to basically... Oh, uh, yeah, I just finished the game. <laughs> That's it. That's the entire speedrun. Um, so basically, what it does is... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I'm aware, what it does is it takes uh, Link, and the game believes... The game thinks that Link is on the bottom floor, as you're jumping when you save and quit even though you're on the top floor it still thinks you're at the bottom so that when the guy hits you it will automatically send you back to the bottom floor supposedly but instead it just makes you able to walk through the walls on the top floor 
if you return to the bottom floor and you mess it up, then you're going to be stuck in that area of the game and kind of unable to continue the glitch and get to the ending this way. It's super simple. Like the entire time I was just in the wall. All you gotta do is you go up two screens, you go right and you can see your little head once you get to the right. If you go too far right, that's fine. Just come back when the screen shifts over. Immediately just continue going up forever. And you will reach the Triforce. And you will finish the game. Uh, maybe I'll find a way to properly record this game. And then might do a Let's Play in it. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I've been this guy who plays games. And uh, enjoy as the game does its thing.